And for months, the city of Spokane has been trying to move certain homeless services off of the division corridor. But finding a new home for one behavioral health facility is proving quite contentious. Crim 2's Shannon Mowdy explains. Shannon. Well, a vacant building here on East Springfield could become the new home for compassionate addiction treatment. And that is exactly what a coalition of businesses and neighbors here is fighting to prevent. The junk store has been making room for recycled odds and ends for 45 years. Walk around the corner with it or something. Owner Jim Schrock's always finding a corner or cranny for each piece. But recently, he's been more concerned with what's going in next door. We, we've lived through the, the trauma of having Jules helping hand right next door. An August 7th press release shows the city entered a formal agreement with CAT or Compassionate Addiction Treatment to move its sobering center and behavioral health services to the Chief Gary neighborhood. Well, I think right there, it's where you say sober, the sobering center, who would want to live next to a sobering center? Cat declined an interview, but told Krem 2 after searching near downtown and even the valley, the proposed new site at 1819 East Springfield fit its budget and need for space and privacy. Aaron Hutt with Mayor Lisa Brown's office says City Council approved an allocation of American Rescue Plan dollars to reduce homelessness downtown on April 2nd. Schrock's now part of a coalition of Chief Gary businesses and neighbors petitioning to keep this relocation from happening. There's like 40 or more businesses and more more every day are, are jumping on board to put up signs. And we're just trying to do whatever we can to stop them moving to our neighborhood and uh, or slow them down all we can. He looks to Cat's current location at Second and Division. They have a disaster on their on their own front porch. As a vision of what he fears his neighborhood could become if they move in. So for all the things barrels, he's making room for here. They're, you know, they got windows broken out. They can't even control their own facility, let alone what's going to happen to the neighborhood. This new neighbor isn't one of them. And the coalition is hosting an emergency community meeting this Friday night. We have all the details at Krem.com. Shannon Mowdy, Krem 2 News.